So what we have here is an irregular polygon that is located on top of this graph right here. And what we have to do is figure out what is the total area of this figure. So what we're going to do is draw some lines to break this figure into easily recognizable shapes. In this case, we're breaking it into two triangles and a square. Now we should notice that both of our triangles are right triangles. And the base and the height of the triangle are always the two lines of the triangle that form your right angle. So we could say that these two lines here are the base and the height of that triangle. Or we could say that this is the base and this is the height of the triangle. It really doesn't matter which of the two lines that you use for the base and the height. And of course with this triangle over here, we could call this the base and we can call this the height. Now what we have to do is determine what is the length of the base and the height of each one of our triangles. So looking at this triangle here, the base starts at this point. So from here to here would be a distance of 1, 2, 3, and 4. So the distance of this triangle's base is 4 units. And the height starts right here. And from here to here is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, and 7. So the height of this triangle is 7 units. And this triangle here also has a base of 4, and the height is also a height of 7. Now notice that our square right here shares the side length with this triangle and of this triangle. So we can see that we have a 7 by 7 square. And when finding the area of any square, just multiply one side by itself or just square a single side. So 7 times 7 or 7 to the second power is 49. Now if we take a look at both of our triangles, notice that they both have the same base and the same height length. That means that these triangles are congruent to each other. And when you have two triangles that are congruent to each other, you can just consider both of them a single rectangle. For example, this triangle right here would fit perfectly into this area right here, forming a rectangle with the other triangle. So what we can do is just consider these two triangles a single rectangle, and that would be a 4 by 7 rectangle. And 4 times 7 is 28. So the total area of both triangles is 28. The area of the square is 49. So what we have to do now is just combine those two areas together. 8 plus 9 is 17. And 1, 2, and 4 is a total of 7. So we would say that the total area of the irregular polygon is 77 square units.